Okay. Hello, DEF CON China. Welcome to Cocktail Con. Uh, we're a group of hackers that uh, likes making cocktails and sharing cocktail ideas and uh, discussing cocktail culture. Tonight, we've got a special surprise for you. We're going to be uh, making some of our favorite cocktails for you and give you the recipes here in the chat. So uh, because we've got quite a few of us and uh, it's going to mean a lot of drinks, let's just cut to the chase. And we're going to start with uh, Lauren Loss. Lauren, what do you got for us tonight? Lauren, come on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, it did multiple mute things on me. <laughs> um, I am making a Mai Tai, which is one of my favorite drinks. I'm fighting an ice cube right now. So a Mai Tai is uh, pretty easy. It seems complicated and people like to make it complicated, but it's rum. More rum. Um, Fontro. Show the bottle, please. Oh, fine. That, that's that bottle. Sorry, bad camera. There's your camera. Yeah. Technology is hard. I don't have technology well. I just do it for a living. Lime, because yes, I'm cheap and I don't have real limes. And then the magic is Orjat. So if you can make what it yourself. What the hell is Orjat? It what? is almond cordial syrup. And this is not the really sugary one. This is, it's from Bee Brothers. So it's still really sugary. That's why it lasts a little while in my fridge. But because of that, I don't need to put any sugar in my drink. And you're supposed to shake this, but I don't have a shaker anymore, so I stir. So quick cocktail recipe uh, hint. Yep. If it has juice in the cocktail, it is supposed to be shaken. Otherwise, yep. it's supposed to be stirred. So James Bond is a fucking idiot. <laughs> this is very true. But yeah, and I, I use a mason jar lid to, to keep the ice out of my drink. Because I poured it over a nice big cube that you can't see anymore. I didn't Come know by. this would be MacGyver, MacGyver cocktail hour. <laughs> oh, man, that's wonderful. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. So I forgot to have a drink when you did your quick toast there. Oh. So thanks, Lauren. Oh, I didn't forget. Do it again. Do it right this time, everyone. Oh man, come on. Ready? Are we, are, I can't see do you guys, so do it. Come by. Come by. Bye. So of course we I don't think anyone did that properly and actually emptied their glass. So because we're there's we're no bad. way we're yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, if, if you drain the cocktail <laughs> like the Mai Tai, you know you I want have to. to work tomorrow. Yeah, yeah you it's, sip yeah. the Mai Tai. We will not last through this uh <laughs> through this. And notice thing. my Mai Tai does not have fruit punch yeah. or orange juice in it. This is important. Make shot size Mai Tai. <laughs> no. There you go. I could. I've done it before. Okay, Johnny, get her off camera. Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> All righty. I think uh, we decided next was going to be a colorful bow tie. All right. Uh, first of all, you need an empty cocktail glass. Oh, here we go. Good start. Just Let's draw. see if I can do this before this hits me. All right, so. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> first, you're going to absinthe wash your glass. So just pour in a healthy dose of absinthe into your, uh, I'm using a little bottle of absinthe I had, um, into your glass and give it a nice swirl. Make sure you coat that entire glass. Um, and then you're supposed to throw out the absinthe. Uh, I throw it out into my mouth. 
that all right. was don't, don't waste the absence. Never said. waste alcohol. That's a terrible Never. thing to do. Yeah. Uh, this is an equal parts cocktail. The first part will be Lillette. This is a reduced wine. Um, it's one part for every piece of this cocktail. So it is one part Lillette, one part gin, one part lemon juice, and one part Cointreau. I'll go through that as we go through um, and pour that into a cocktail shaker. As this contains citrus, I will shake my drink, not stir it. Thank you for shaming Lauren. She deserves don't, shame. Don't you have a shame. mason jar. You clearly have a mason jar lit. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I did it. climb up and grab a mason jar. <laughs> Next, I have Hendrix Lunar Gin, um, which is a great pairing for this cocktail. Um, we're going to do another one part of that into my shaker. Next, uh, this one also has Cointreau. Uh, a orange liqueur, uh, triple sec orange liqueur would count, but not taste as great. Too sweet. It really is. And although it's expensive, you just, there's very few cocktails I have that use this. And so this is just one of them. All right. Oh, no, I spilled a bunch of this in the ground. <laughs> Emptying the glass hit. Uh, it, clearly, the drink I just pounded is hitting me faster than I can make it through this um, as I shake it. Um, let's make sure I don't miss any more of my glass like I just did. Um, this is what I get for making cocktails at my uh, desk. Uh, you fill your glass. And then you take a nice lemon peel that you have uh, peeled off of the lemon without the, uh, the white pith. Kind of express it over the top. Give it a good rub along the edges and just drop it right in. And then you have yourself one Corpse Reviver, number two. Uh, salute. Ooh. Oh, there was no ice left in that shaker because I've been here so long. And that's all alcohol. <laughs> oh, I forgot a whole ingredient. Oh, my gosh. I was wondering why that was so clear. We are yeah. professionals. <laughs> So uh, he did say he was going to try to make it before that pounding that last drink hit. He, he didn't make it. Uh, <laughs> there, he didn't make it. Lemon juice. That was the last ingredient. <laughs> oh, no. So so you made a big deal about your citrus and then didn't add. You know what? Citrus. You have to just drink them separately now. Just drink all the juice and then and then the cocktail. All right, so you drink, drink a drink juice. that had no juice in it. <laughs> And then oh. you just poured it in. Oh, God. Uh, we're going to go with, like, the fancy bougie. This is a deconstructed cocktail. You yeah. drink all of the ingredients one at a time as you go through. <laughs> then you the do hipster some, version. Then, then you jump up and down to shake it in your tummy. <laughs> Don't do this. D d not recommended. Oh, that is so much better. Okay. <laughs> Ten times better. A plus. All right. That was... Uh, I that was a huge mistake not adding the lemon juice to this cocktail. So, for those of you trying to actually make this, one part gin doesn't have to be that gin, it can be any gin. One part orange liqueur, I use Cointreau. One part Lillette, the only actual ingredient that I think needs to be name brand. One part lemon juice from this ever filling glass of lemon juice. <laughs> An absinthe to rinse the glass. Shake, lemon peel, and enjoy. Salute properly. <laughs> and if you don't like drinking the absinthe, get a vaporizer spray because it works wonders. Oh, yeah. You can spray it instead of rinsing yeah. it. You can do anything you want with the to get that glass coated. Um, and usually you want to chill the glass, but that that's real technical. This drink goal is called a Corpse Survivor number two. Important on the number two, not a number one or 155. Um, it, it will really mess you up after like two of them. Um, but they're also great hangover cures. 
Air the dog that bit you. Air the dog, yep. All righty, get him off camera. Take a night, Gracie. Spotlight removed. Spotlight removed. Hi, everyone. You know, we didn't plan any farther than this, so we're winging it. And so that was the plan part. So you can imagine how shitty the rest of this is going to be. Thanks for hanging with us. So um, let's see who doesn't want to go next. Because like you're going next. OJ doesn't want to go next, so he's going next. OJ! Hey, Give everybody. Pie, Johnny. Oh, hold on. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I've had a couple. <laughs> and I'm, I don't I do not do tech anymore. I just tell you how you're doing your job wrong now. So, all right. <laughs> hey, there we go. Hello, everybody. And uh, my name's uh, Job, also known as OJ. So we're going to have a glass of OJ but we're going to booze it up a bit. So uh, we're going to have a tequila sunset. And you may say, what's a tequila sunset? It's the same thing as a tequila sunrise. What's the difference between a tequila sunrise and a sunset? The time you drink it. So uh, get your shaker, make sure it has some ice in it. Make sure you have a glass you're going to pour it in. Make sure it has some ice in it. And then we're going to go for um, two parts of tequila. I happen to be using Patron Silver. Some of you made a grimace there, even though I didn't look. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, so. can, can I teach you about good tequila someday, OJ? Yes, He's I'm just welcome. trying to make this as accessible as possible for everyone in the world market. Hold on. Two, two ounces, and we go in. <laughs> I was like, how many ounces is that part? Are you filled that thing? I'm jealous no. of that jigger. That's amazing. That, that jigger is kind of crazy. We do one part of grenadine. Oh, so. I'm already sad you don't make your own grenadine. <laughs> so that I'm goes sorry. in. I'm sorry. I'm still fixated on the jigger. I'm <laughs> lusting after it. And then <laughs> six parts OJ. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's a that's tall, cold it. drink. And so that's six parts. Is that of a then, six ounce? Are you, hey, hey, real colorful bow tie. Are you upset he didn't squeeze his own oranges too? <laughs> no, but I am slightly like, I wanted to ask pulp or no pulp on the uh, orange uh, juice. We, we are currently going no pulp, no pulp, and it has calcium and vitamin D in it. Oh, so we're healthy. Well, this is a healthy cocktail. This is a healthy cocktail. <laughs> So, so well we have the shaking, and you must make sure you have ample shaking. Shake, shake, shake. shake, shake from the style. hips upward. There you go. The arms. Make sure you get proper, proper shake, shaking. Shake, shake sonata. And I like this shaker because a little cap comes off. It's already got the strainer. Pour into a glass. Beautiful. So I believe that's called a Parisian shaker, right? This kind? Sure. Sure. <laughs> and uh, a nice, nice little maraschino cherry to- Look um, at that. The nice wow. garnish. And uh, for a little toast here, if you defend, may your vulns be patched and your incidents be few. If you attack, may your payloads always land and your findings be resolved. Ganbe. 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 Oh. Wow. No, see, that, that's oh, not All right. He's still going for it. Look at that. It's happening. He's not it's stopping. Happening. Oh, no. This is <laughs> oh, no. Oh, 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 looking to call no. this a real oh, sunset. Oh, oh, oh. Sun's getting Johnny real low. Sun has set. Oh, God. Let's throw him. Oh, oh, dear God. <laughs> God's hands back. All right. I'm going to have to go soon after this because that's there's no way I'm going to be able to keep up if we're, if we're draining glasses. <laughs> yeah. I... Okay. Um, wow. OJ, thanks for that. <laughs> um, I have to wake up tomorrow. <laughs> be, uh, be safe. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if Johnny is uh, still in charge of the video and if he took it off, took him off. Uh... Trying to. There we go. He'll figure it out. Sweet. So uh, real quick interlude. So uh, I'm Carl Cosmos and uh, Johnny Sparkle there. The two of us are the two who founded CocktailCon. 
Uh, we actually did this originally at, at DEF CON um, because we were too lazy to uh, try to go to all the other parties. So we just decided to throw a party and have people show up. Uh, but we wanted it to be more of a cocktail theme party rather than just loud thumping music and, and people making out on the couches and stuff. So not that there's anything wrong with that, but we just, there's enough of that at DEF CON. So we wanted to do something a little different. Um, and then, you know, uh, the, the uh, pandemic happened. And so we just kind of turned it into an online meetup uh, like everyone else has done with everything, but ours involves booze, so it's better. So anyway, uh, who wants to go next? Uh, Johnny wants to go next because he's not gonna be able to handle this much longer apparently. <laughs> yeah, I, I can go next. Um, I'm, I'm gonna make not one, but two cocktails. No, you're not. No, no you're not. <laughs> Fine, oh, hey, I'll give yourself part. the spotlight. Okay, all right. I'm gonna move myself in the spotlight. Thank you for the cue, Mr. Director. All right, so um, pretty basic cocktail. It's gonna be three parts, three equal parts. We're gonna make a Boulevardier. And what is a Boulevardier? It's a, an amazing cocktail. I'm gonna switch my camera here really quickly so you can see what I'm gonna do. Oh, fancy, Mr. I don't do tech anymore with the fancy, <laughs> fancy. Next level camera skills. I know. Well, management can figure out how to do things. Yeah, yeah I mean, because, you know, I, it's just because management has money, pay us. I, I had somebody set this up for me, so. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> nice hands. Thank you. I, I need a manicure, but you know, <laughs> given the uh, given the end times, I'm gonna give myself a break on that for right now. So, I'm what we do is we take a mixing glass, throw some ice into it. Mixing glass, ice, and three equal parts of bourbon. Um, Campari, I'm not using Campari, I'm using very, something very similar, but almost everybody else on the planet uses Campari. This is Bruto Americano by St. George, which is fantastic. Uh, any one of the red colored uh, aperitifs works fine. And then Sweet Vermouth. I personally love the, uh, the uh, Cochi del, to uh, del Torino but you can use oh, coochie. Coochie. Johnny loves coochie. <laughs> well, duh, yes. So um, here we go. Rather than using really good bourbon, uh, and you can use whatever bourbon you like, always use ingredients that you like. I'm going to use the $5 bourbon in a $300 glass. So mm. mix equal parts. Thank what is that, have. old granddad? What plastic bottle did you get the bourbon out of? Uh, this is very old Barton. So it's an actual bourbon. It's just the cheapest bourbon I could possibly find. And I bought it on a whim. And actually, it's good for cocktails. Is that proper leaded crystal in the decanter? It is. You know, that gives you cancer in the state of California. Yeah. <laughs> Given all the other shit I've done in my life and things I've ingested and eaten and jumped off of and done, that's like the last of my worries at this point. Well, you're also not in California, so you're safe from yeah. the leaded crystal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Chicago's toxic enough on its own, you know, it'll you protect you from anything. We, we, just, we just use lead in everything here. You drink Chicago water. Chicago yeah, water is the best that water. Tolerance. Chicago water is very good. <laughs> what, what is this cocktail called, Johnny? This is a Boulevardier. Boulevardier. And equal parts bourbon, sweet vermouth, and uh, Campari or other red aperitivo. And you just put it in a mixing glass, stir, and have a nice little conversation. Grab your, you know what? I'm going to use a different glass. I like this glass better. Take Notice your, how this one was properly stirred because there's no juice in it. Right, absolutely. I was just giving uh, you a demonstration of what not to do. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and this one, the most important part of the um, of the Boulevardier is having a proper Death Star 
um, ice cube. So I thought that was a uh, large egg. <laughs> it's, yeah, it is not an egg that is ice. <laughs> it's, an ice. it's a very pretentious piece of ice. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. No, it wasn't hand chipped. It's not that pretentious. Oh, uh, whoa! Well, <laughs> where's your mason jar lid? Right, right, right. I can't really yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm low on mason jar lid. So in lieu of that, I use a strainer. Uh, <laughs> I live in the four. south. Everything's in a mason jar. Come on. <laughs> Why are you could have shaken your cocktail in one? Or until you, you realize that's no moon. Climb up on the step stool. That's no moon. <laughs> Now, the biggest argument you're going to get is, do you use a cherry or do you use an orange? And really, yeah. whichever oh. one you want to do is fine. I personally, on a cold day, I like to use cherries. On a warm day, I like to use oranges. Um, because I can't get the, jar, the lid of this jar off for some reason, I'm going to <laughs> use an orange. Really, uh, Tony? Yeah. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna just be that noncommittal here? Uh, and check off the knife. He's about to do this here. with a knife. So. Yeah. I keep pliers in the door of the drawer of my bar for that reason. There might be blood. There may be blood. Uh, also, where's the lighter? <laughs> He's a professional. Oh, I don't need a lighter. So, what you want to do if you're using an orange slice, just express it like so. Give the glass a nice little rub. And then take that orange slice, put that in there. See so what it looks really rub? pretty. <laughs> Whisper good things to the orange slice. Give your That's rim a rub because experience. you really want to have that, you know. Switch cameras for the sip. Switch cameras for the sip. All right, camera A, camera A, camera A. Camera A, and go. Hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so that is a Boulevard EA. I will post the uh, the recipe. And it should be available on cocktailcon.org whenever we sober up and get over our hangovers. But here we go. Hey, Duffcon China, wish we could be there maybe next year. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Don't get a hangover if you're drinking. Oh, coffee. God, he's See, doing it. I'm Why would you oh, want? No. No. This is bad. This wow. Is bad. I'm so glad oh, I went first. Did you say there were two cocktails? Yes, he did. <laughs> oh, oh, do you want me to make the other one? I can make the other no, one. No, no, no. We're going to make you do the other one last. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what? I, fine. I was going to do a Negroni so that way you have two different cocktails with the same ingredients, but I will do a last word just to have the last word. Mother. There you go. Uh, All right. right. <laughs> so, Please do, work, Johnny, because, because I was going mine. to do a Negroni. All right. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, sweet. Alrighty. So speaking of which, um, let's switch it back to gallery view real quick. I actually remember this time, so I'm there. Alrighty. Sweet. Um, so, uh, Krieger, uh, yeah. you basically just volunteered yourself saying, I was going to do did. that. Well, do it. Damn it. What a segue, right? All right. So I was, um, I was trying to figure out which which cocktail to make and realized I didn't have any lime juice. So that kind of, you know, solved Gotta my keep it in the fridge so, like I do. Uh, I I ran out of it in the fridge is my problem. I drink too much lime juice. <laughs> Wait, Just, you're out of time. you're out of lime juice and you're out of Malort? Uh yeah, it's a rough day here. <laughs> it's Whoa, a rough but day. he's got a <laughs> slick t-shirt on. Let's all just That's take right. a moment to appreciate that. Just admire <laughs> nice the cocktail con swag yes so i'm gonna make a negroni which is basically the same thing that johnny made except instead of bourbon you use gin it's uh equal parts campari a sweet vermouth and a gin over ice i don't have like i don't, I don't have my fancy cocktail shaker like within within you know reach but i have a glass of ice right Cute little, little glass here. It's got some sweet crystal on it. I am also using uh, Hendrix Lunar Gin. It is the gin that I have closest to me. My other bottle of Hendrix Gin is much further away. So I'm going to pour one part gin in my glass. Got my bottle of sweet vermouth, and I'm using uh, some Giuseppe Carpano uh, sweet vermouth. Again, 
use whatever you can get your hands on. Sweet vermouth is, to my palate, sweet vermouth. It's all the same. It's probably not all the same, but people will shout at me. Anyway, sweet vermouth. Yes, I'm, a, I'm, I'm internally screaming at that last statement. <laughs> yep, as most people probably will. Yep. That was, that was there to trigger some people. Ah, and whiskey, I'm actually, just whiskey. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. And I'm using actual Campari, which is, you know, I don't know if you can see it from the camera, but it is red. It is a, it is, it's a liqueur made from bitters. So um, if you can't find Campari, you could probably substitute any like red, you know, alcoholic liquid. Wait, Except you're wine. saying I don't. <laughs> don't <laughs> don't <laughs> hold on, hold on a second. You Within might want to think reason. <laughs> Within reason, yeah. Fireball also is not adequate. I was like, who could get candy <laughs> apple schnapps in this Campari? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the cocktail is whatever you want to give a name to it. Get wild with your bad self. Just make whatever drink you want. And your end result should be this sort of cute little red here. Uh, I'm going to stir it up, you know, now, like with a, now, a giant spoon. So, uh, Krieger, um, what weather goes best with what, uh, <laughs> with what garnish? Uh, oh, garnishes? <laughs> I'm not fancy enough for garnishes. Uh, but I would imagine uh, just garnish it with the breath of your best friend. Uh, and then take a breath, breath, right? Oh, nobody's coming over <laughs> during current times. <laughs> yes, the breath of your best friend is really bad in coronavirus times, so I would advise <laughs> against it as your doctor. Note, I am not a doctor. Anyway, <laughs> now that we have our Negroni, it's beautiful, look at this. I will say to Death on China, cheers. 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 Oh dear lord! Oh, uh, he's doing it too. Look at a trend. <laughs> this is this, this is, is danger. This is danger. Bad. Danger. Bad. Danger. Bad. Danger. Bad. Danger. Bad. Danger. This is yeah. bad. <laughs> Very I need to drink bad. water after this. Earlier. I need a water uh, Johnny, you might want to get it off of focus view. He looks like he's gonna mm. pop. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look that bad? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, yeah, I, I admit I found this bottle of Bijou that um, I've been avoiding for a long time. So um, thank you for giving me an excuse to make really bad decisions tonight. China. That's a really bad decision. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, that sounds like a finding a bottle of soju. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, no, no soju. Soju, I, I will drink. No problem. Um, this is this is fun. It's adventurous. This is. Hey, Sue. Yeah? How you doing, Bunny? Fine. Show us uh, the ears, Bunny. I I have uh, not brought a bunny up because um, they may knife me if I do. Carl, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm volunteer at these ears. Next. Show us these ears. Yeah, that one's easier. There we go. Flip, flip. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, before we do this, I just saw something. Sorry, in the chat. Duck Duck, do you still have time to do it? Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, so Sue, I'm going to cut you off. Are you? Can you go after Duck Duck, Sue? Well, I'm not set up to um, make a drink, but um, I can tell people how to make a Manhattan. Sure. So we're gonna we're gonna go do Duck Duck first because he's uh, he's on a time limit here. So uh, Duck Duck. Who's really looking like the uh, Emperor uh, Emperor Palpatine from the original trilogy here right now? So, oh good, I, I thought. That how was you doing, buddy? Good. How are you, Carl? Um, oh, I, good to see I was you. doing this tonight, so I had to to figure out the the cocktail because, as you know, I'm not a, a cocktail man. But I decided what better for a, a convention uh, type crew than than an overnight gin and tonic. Um, so. What we're going to do here is we're going to try and have you drink all night and think you're ready to go in the morning. So, got some gin. And uh, let me get a glass because I don't have a special second camera set up. Well, I do, but not, not for this purpose. So, 
<laughs> hey now. <laughs> so, yeah, so hey, you can do this for the bathroom. That's for his OnlyFans site. Exactly. And and you really don't want to see that right now. So I'm gonna do one part of gin. <laughs> I got some Bombay Sapphire going there. Whoa, I just mm. looked at your ingredient list for this. What mm -hmm. the fuck This is a bunker eating? cocktail. Yes. This yes. is Gatorade. Oh my god. Oh, no. And we're gonna do about two parts of that. That's enough. All this drinks with incredible. Gatorade are great. Come on. It's hydrate while it dehydrates. The color is just not quite right yet. So we're gonna do a splash of Midori. That was Show us the nice. Midori bottle. Damn it. Neon I didn't, green. I did too much. There we go. I'm not gonna enjoy I'm Neon not gonna enjoy tasting green. that. You wanna do just a little bit of that, not not the giant, giant glop that I just did. And then we need some tonic syrup. So I recommend Mr. Jack Rudy's that is not focusing on the camera because I need to do fun things with my- oh, there, sorry. We there we go. Hey. There we go. Nice. Um, Briefly. So I'm gonna use a children's Tylenol syringe and give myself about one and a quarter, one and a half milliliters in there. You use that same syringe on your kids? Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, I was hoping and, there'd be a splash of children's Tylenol in this beverage. And, and <laughs> then we need to stir it. So we're going to use some bacon because that is after <laughs> God. God. Ridiculous. Uh, and you know, really and, really and the people water. say the English make terrible drinks, but this is amazing. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. this and, and I mean, you know, the best place to get bacon is, is backstage at Sky Talks, of course. Yes. Um, and we're going to take in deference to my heritage, Scottish, not English, but deference to that, I'm gonna take an ice cube and put it in there. Well, that was a nice That was a sound. beautiful was sound. A, that was well, the perfect good. sound effect. There we have an overnight gin and tonic. And I guess- That's the terrifying ice duck duck. Beautiful. Duck duck. I am, I am both horrified and strangely titillated by this drink. Uh, yeah, this is I'm amazing. Aroused. This is like a Bloody Mary, if the Bloody Mary was just Ecto Cooler High C. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I love it. 12 year old makes for a Bloody Mary. Yeah. Yeah. Whiskey. So, sound you well. Chase it. Cheers. <laughs> nice. Cheers. Thank you for sharing. That's amazing. Surprised the ice wasn't made from NyQuil PM. <laughs> Pedialyte. It yeah. should have been Pedialyte. 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 That's right. Well, yeah. actually, I, I um, I originally so was thinking about using the, the, the other syringe for, you know, oh. the tonic syrup, but I just needed more of it. Mm. Nice. Good hey, delight. Johnny. Yes, Carl. Let's throw it over to Sue. Hiya. <laughs> Sue. So I I, I, there we go. I am actually at, I, I bought a house with a wet bar. So I moved over to the wet bar. And um, I'm going to make a Manhattan, which is a very, very common American cocktail. All the old people in my family like them. And now that I'm old, I like them too. Um, so you start with some ice. And um, that's enough, not too much. And then uh, two parts bourbon. This is Basil Hayden Kentucky bourbon, and it's very good. Um, let's see. I'm normally a lazy person that just opens a bottle of wine, so this is one of the only cups I make. So two parts of bourbon. One part of vermouth. This is basic vermouth. This is a very basic cocktail in the contemporary um, meaning of the word. Um, and I'm looking for my measurement. One ounce of vermouth. Is vermouth one of the ones that goes bad? Or is that? Sweet vermouth so. doesn't it's go bad so. as quickly as uh, dry vermouth does. So dry vermouth needs to go in the refrigerator. Um, sweet vermouth can stay on the shelf. Yeah, this is sweet vermouth. And um, 
I don't know, my dad made martinis and always had vermouth and he never put it in the fridge. So, and that wasn't what killed him, so. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he could have just been like me and whatever that particular liquor is you like doesn't last. I couldn't tell you if bourbon goes bad. And then for flavor, I, I just put in two dashes of Angostura bitters. Wait, does the Manhattan not have any flavor? <clears throat> well, Ooh, ouch. if you don't put any bitters in it, you know, <laughs> you can get better bit bitters. Mm, it's for sounds the aroma. Like the, it's an aroma. Goes down like Everclear. Bart, what do they do to deserve this dry, flavorless Manhattan? I did this on top of my previous drink, so I still had a cherry left. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. But does this go with a winter cocktail or a summer cocktail? In this, oh. <laughs> this is a winter cocktail. It's, it's, it's this is a cocktail for all seasons. You can split the difference and say it's for spring. Okay, yes. Well, it has to be for spring because it's March. <laughs> exactly. Clearly, you've it's, never. It's been March for like a year and a half now, though. So. <laughs> yeah, it's still March. Which it's March is March it? March two. March. Sixteen. It's the sixteenth of March two. Hey, like thank you, Sue. Memory. That looks lovely. Two. It looks awesome wonderful, drink. Sue. And you do um, not have to be like the idiots before you and chug that. <laughs> Yeah, I am right. not going to chug that. I know. <laughs> yes. Oh, the streak is broken. That. Yes. No, I am with you, Sue. I'm give my do toast, not. which is from Bill and Ted, be excellent to each other. <laughs> I love it. Be excellent. Be excellent to each other. Oh, my goodness. What have we done here? Only great things and bad decisions. Only great things. And bad decisions. Wow, decision. let's see. We're... Uh, well, since we already had the Manhattan, can I do a, I can't do the Manhattan, but I can do a little side spin on something related. There's, uh, there's my wife lounging lovely on the uh, chair there. You're married to Deviant too? Oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am married to Deviant. No. So De uh, actually, you know what, can you talk about your, um, uh, uh, your, uh, your old travel old fashioned kit? Or you can do whatever you want, but oh, man, I thought that was such it. a great. I can definitely oh, no, go. No, 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 I haven't do... traveled in a year. I know. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> you know what? No, do do what you're gonna do. Uh, well, Carl's in charge, so do oh, it. Last no. in thirty seconds. I'm in charge. Right. Oh, classing up, classing up a situation when all you've got are garbage ingredients. So, so hey, um, uh, let's go ahead and give him the focus because it looks like Deviant's just taken over. <laughs> Deviant's dirty. <starting. laughs> <laughs> so yeah uh, that was a perfect execution that we just saw of the classic manhattan with the 212 easy to remember uh, my phone number is also a manhattan phone number even though i've never lived there because hacker life but if you're using really small <laughs> ingredients and you have yourself a manhattan that you've prepared before you pour it directly into your chilled glass there are a couple things you can do one i will say a good way to hack some of your drinks is if you're going to use a cherry, go for the like, you know, Amarena cherries, the, the nicer than the grocery store cherries. But for presentation and pageantry, it's pretty hard to beat this little self-hitting bowl type device that we've got here. So if you want to like make a bunch of smoke blow around, we have this kind of stuff, right? Like, these are very <laughs> I mean, many of us, you know, DEF CON's offices are in uh, Seattle. Many of us are from there. So normally other things would be in the self-hitting bowl. We're not going to do that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but go ahead and get your, get your smoke flowing into the glass. Just to give it a little essence, right? And to give it a little something, something around the air so that people don't notice that you've actually poured a drink using rot gut rye and I'm going to say a number of people are cringing at my bottle of martini and Rossi with the sweet vermouth there. It doesn't go bad on the shelf, but it's sweet vermouth because it was never good to begin with, right? <laughs> but being in the, uh, the ambiance and whatever little flavor you imparted with just, I'm just burning little cherry wood chips here. 
Uh, it, it ain't tea bag, I gotta say. So, come back. Thank you. Salute. Defcon China. <laughs> Salute. Hey, wood oh. chips. Right. See, he oh, went a small see. glass. He cheated. <laughs> <laughs> All I can I think about it. is danger zone with that lighting. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it definitely needs to be, you know, the 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 um the rollers going in there, the red light rollers. Especially with the self-lighting uh the self-smoking bong there. Anyway. <laughs> Cheers, thanks. Hacker Heidi, tip. Johnny, back to work. Hi, Hacker Johnny. Tip, use your vaporizer as a smoker. I love it. <laughs> so hey, uh, where are we? Where are we? We got we got rational whiskey. Yeah, I get to do one, and then Jive's going to do the other variation on it, but <laughs> that'll work well because it's also hitting eleven here and. Tomorrow is going to be an odd day, so it's going to be a uh, great day. Yeah, it's really just ten o'clock. I mean, it'll be a beautiful it. day. Yeah. Daylight saving time, just a grand old time, really. All it's things considered, background um, a Halo map. So, yeah, his background is Halo. <laughs> yeah, have you guys? Have any of you looked at Star Citizen as a video game? This is Star yes. Citizen. I knew oh, it. Oh, it actually, has it ha actually happened yet? No. Yeah. Kind no, it's of. Viable. It's, it's complicated. It, it's it complicated. is complicated. See, I, I, I'm more of an elite dangerous kind of guy, but it, anyway. It yes. very much exists because right. one of we my dearest friends like, from school is actually it. like the community manager, which is the <laughs> weirdest connection I have to anything. So you're coming to <laughs> oh us on gosh. subspace frequencies in a galaxy yes. far, far away. I am going to make in space. Uh, so on Cocktail Con, and yeah, the, the original story of this is going to pop up, I think, in Jack's talk, one of our favorite cocktails to riff on is the final word, the last word, or my version, which is going to be the smoking word. Um, and all these are variations on you swap a liquor and some other ingredients, but mostly it's just swapping the main liquor. The smoking word is with. It's supposed to be Laphroaig. I don't have Laphroaig because I drink a lot of Laphroaig. And instead I went with the Ardberg Kelpie. Kelpie, good stuff. Is this wonderful peaty scotch that the old master distiller for Ardberg originally described as wanting you to experience sitting in the courtyard of the distillery, getting hit, and I'm gonna really mangle his accent, in the fucking face by the Northern Sea. He's a wonderful dude. <laughs> so, what it is, it, it, or this variation of it, is two parts Kelpie. One part Lacherda. And sorry, space is messing with my camera difficulty to pick up on the booze. One part Chartreuse. Now, technically, you are supposed to use yellow Chartreuse in this. I do not have yellow chartreuse, and I discovered that green chartreuse actually tastes really fucking delicious with it. So, for the purpose of this, we're going to do this. Yellow then, chartreuse is used because it's cheaper. Eh. Um, well, for me, also, this speaking time. of cheaper and being lazy and <laughs> taking you off a little lost, uh, <laughs> lemon juice. And Good for you. Yeah, I just I can't keep lemons around long enough to really do check. I get it. So what you do is you blend all the fucking things and you do this without spilling onto either my flight stick, which is to the left of my computer, or <laughs> my taker at the star moment. Star citizen. Yep. Yep. Good star citizen. Um, or it's the keyboard, which is to the right of my shaker which would result in possibly some odd text showing up in my email because I have my work email up. Uh, <laughs> They're done that. Yeah, <laughs> I could go I poorly. To write a, a DNS security standard. <laughs> it's always DNS. It's always DNS. It's always Damn DNS. It, DNS. And you're always having to secure DNS. New triple E, I e standard for DNS is <laughs> in it. <laughs> hey, there's a reason 
that my my handle is rational whiskey as my camera blurs out um i used to write way too much material uh at a whiskey bar published material like research papers and everything at whiskey bars and so when i miss I, whiskey I, bars so hard oh so so, why so what's wrong with this well yeah, why can't, why why can't we do it now is my old twitter handle was not exactly politically correct. So when I took a job at a consulting company where I'd actually go up and talk about my research papers at places like DEF CON, uh, one of the constraints on my job was you had to put your Twitter handle on your presentations. So I rapidly <laughs> had to change my Twitter handle. <laughs> my boss I, texted I me was like, one. this is so much better than what you had. I'm going to mute quickly so I'm not shattering your ears with shaken ice. I get it. Pikachu is so dumb. <laughs> I, I, you know, uh, I studied right. for my and master's degree in finals in a bar. So I actually took them in a bar. <laughs> if I, if so, I remember. Johnny, right. in post, make sure that we put some silly noises over him shaking that, like, you know, rubber duckies or something. Hey, hey, Benny Benny Hill Hill thing. Thing. Oh, yeah. I think it needs to be the shake weight, but. The shake weight. <laughs> <laughs> Graphics are wonderful things, but this is a smoking word, uh, and I think Jive is we Jive and I are going back and forth to make sure we weren't going to make the same fucking cocktail, and I think he might do the uh, other variations on it. But cheers to China, uh, and I hope you are having a wonderful DefCon. Cheers! 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 cheers. Oh wow! And then it was an excellent, so you excellent keep... sound effect. Hey, China, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to switch from from Baiju to uh, to the um, the state cocktail of uh, of my hometown, Chicago. So I'm gonna go to Malort. Malort. Yes. Oh, yes. If you can, hey, Defcon China. Seriously, if you can find Malort, you must get it. Oh, that shit um, is so good. Don't 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 don't. You're terrible. Don't people. look at just just get it. All right, going, M A L O R T. Someone, to someone hell. type in the chat. Um, so, uh, hey, since Jive, since Jive's was referenced eighty times, and rather than you know having there be some kind of delay, Jive's, you ready? Yes, I am. Sweet zombie Jesus, let's do this. <laughs> Hello, China, Defcon China. Today, I'm going to do you know a reference. Hold on, hold on, hold on. AV guy's not ready. There we go. Okay. Hello, Defcon China. I'm going to do a riff on, um, actually, it's called The Last Word, or the Final Word. And um, it's a take on, it's a similar thing to what Rational just did. So it's called A, um, a Last Ward. Um, so it's an equal part drink, where you actually have four different um, things that go in there, three of them are alcohols, and you get equal parts of each. So first off, I'm going to start off with the, um, well, lemon juice because i actually unlike these other people i actually have lemons that i use hey produce is hard <laughs> whoa in a lot of places. i use real lemons Locking i just up, aging up squeeze them into my infinite lemon glass <laughs> i, appla I so, applaud this fresh lemon development you start off with this my I, lemons were fresh when they went in the plastic first. jug so I can figure out how much of other things to put in. Because I put a whole lemon in, and then however much alcohol, uh, how much um, liquid that was, that's how much I put of everything else. Wait, so like, this I'm is going to be a tall drink. Science. This one looks about an ounce and a half. So it goes into a shaker with that already has some ice in it. Then it's the Luxardo um, cherry liqueur. I'm going to do an equal amount of that. And this stuff kind of pours slowly. So there we go. Then, like rational, I use green chartreuse because that's actually what this calls for. <laughs> I love Real. the fact that we're judging everybody's choices as we make our own oh, drinks. Totally <laughs> judging everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, we're, so we're, we're at, just so you know, we're going to like go back and edit this afterwards so that people are actually using good liquor. No, no. <laughs> Just like Photoshop in a bottle of quality liquor. I'm glad Every you won't have to do anything to mine. 
Okay, now the last one is supposed to actually be a 100 proof rye. Um, I don't actually have any 100 proof rye here, so I'm going with a 100 proof bourbon. This one actually I got out of, it's made in, um, in the Las Vegas area, and it's um, Smoke Wagon. It actually is pretty good, actually, and I like the bottle a lot. It's rather interesting. So, you know, like I said, equal parts of everything. So it's a very simple thing to make. And then you shake it. And I'm going to mute it also. Shake, shake, uh, shake, like for shaking, shake, unmuted is the best shake, because you shake, really shake. get the sound of the shake. I I'll also like shakes. to note that both him and the previous uh, mixologist uh, shake from the elbow and not from the hips, so that is not proper. God, is mm. well, I'm Listen sitting. To, so I wasn't shake. sitting. I can't be very colorful. <laughs> Some of us are working on it. This out. You put it in. And you know, fans since I did a slightly strainer. larger one, I have a nice, you know, fair amount of alcohol Ooh. in here. Holy it crap, looks beautiful. And you know it's There's right. No way I'm going to finish this one off in one drink. And you know it's right when Please your don't. camera confuses it for a green screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know it's green enough when the camera confuses it for a green screen. If I the only one that sees it as yellow, why is it so yellow? It actually is pretty yellow. That, it's yellow it's with that the chroma green key chartreuse. What are you doing? Chroma key chartreuse. It's the le the lemon juice, the fresh lemon juice. Oh, uh, okay. I know what else just getting If you'd used fresh lemon background. juice instead of lemon juice in <laughs> a bottle, it would have been that color. <laughs> Is that our Thank you, drives. So cheers. Cheers. Oh, cheers. oh my goodness. Uh, oh, that's good. Oh man, that's also, good to work. Yes, I am getting lost in his background because there's a lot happening. It There's a lot sense. happening in that background. This would be I'm for sure. Last sure. RSA that cookies. was in person. I got all these stickers there, and I made a board out of them. And it's yep. one of my backgrounds. That's awesome. wonderful. That's impressive. Alrighty, we're we're getting down to the uh, to the bleeding edge here. Um, so it went, Elvis. Yeah, I'm ready. ready. All right. Sweet. So, um... As of late, sadly, I've not been able to. Does this look amazing? Do you love these? Like I these love the sideburns. The so sideburns like, are strong. Belushi vibes. I feel like I'm in Vegas strong. already. Actually, yeah, I, I went. We need Mojo uh, Nixon here. I went as part of the Blues Brothers um, several Halloweens ago. It was super fun, but you know, whatever. So anyway, good. so um, if you like me right now cannot drink alcohol for one reason or another, I'm pretty fucking resentful of it. I'm not going to lie. We are going to make something I have been referring to as the spritzer of sadness. Um, I'm a fan of a, uh, a spritzer in general. Like you can drink a lot more in summer. You're drinking like wine, whatever the fuck. I don't care. Throw some ice in it, throw some sparkling water in it, fruit. It's amazing. Like I said, you, you get hydrated, you get a little buzz, but you don't have a, a pain playing over like so many of y'all are going to have tomorrow um, because you've been chugging your drinks. Anyway, hey, so. It's not wrong. What was that? No judgment. <laughs> Can't yeah, be hungover I mean, if you're drinking quality booze. That's that's true. And speaking of quality, I have the finest um, non-alcoholic Sauv Blanc. I have described mm -hmm. it as if you take a bar towel, wring it out into a glass with apple juice. That's about what this tastes like. <laughs> so, we're, somebody um, shouts the name flavor, of the wine in it. the other room. I am Thank so you. excited. For oh, extra flavor, we leave it in the refrigerator for um, a week and a half, almost two weeks <laughs> after opening it because it's so fucking gross that you can't bring yourself to drink it. Um, I, I will have you know that the first time I tried this, I did end up dumping um, celery bitters in it, and that made it Oof. somewhat drinkable. But we're on a journey. Some of the best and, cocktails uh, come from a stance of adversity. Wait, I, I have a question. I mean, about this uh, non-alcoholic apple juice. Um, do you have to leave the cap off to get the aromas of the fridge inside your alcohol or do you leave it I capped? mean, it, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if, uh, if it smells. I don't really know if anything in there. In, do you get any covered. leftover egg the camera. going on in there? Look it up. Look it up for the camera. <laughs> I want to smell it. It's fucking foul. I can't smell it. Look it up for the camera. Oh, God. It smells oh. like cabbage. It smells oh. like cabbage. Oh. Take it away. There's Take it away. Cabbage in my it fridge. smells There's like no colorful bullseye. Put it away. <laughs> Rotting roast beef. I showered last okay. week. <laughs> so. Oh, I make kombucha too. 
I mean, oh yeah, I got, I got a, I call it my Scotel over there and maybe I'll bring it on camera in just a hot minute. Uh, it's my Scoby hotel. It's yeah. Anyway, so this is some, again, like sort of old pineapple juice that's been sitting in my fridge. You're noticing a theme here. Let's just dump a little on that in there. Cause I don't, I don't know. This is just an experiment. You know, I got no fucking idea. I don't know what. How would old what, milk work in this? Oh. No, I don't have any. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Um, we is are going to use Trader Joe's bitters. fresh cold pressed. You bet your ass it is. That's some good fucking pineapple Ooh. juice. All right, we're going for it. Um, and then I'm just gonna give. Oh wait, wait. I got real lemons. Um, I think that these were some sort of special lemon when I bought them, but I can't see what color they are because of my fucking sunglasses. So does someone want to tell me? They look um, like just someone like normal. Okay. <laughs> The okay, internet kind of tells pink. me yeah. they are good. They're pink. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to just dump them in there. And that's going to act as my pink stirring. Comes from. And we're going to take a little sip. You know, honestly, it's not bad. Not bad at all. I brought a key lime LaCroix out just in case. I felt like I was mm. going to vomit. But uh, yeah. this is really not that bad considering what it started as. So um, cheers. Uh, L'chaim, Slancha. Wishing you the best. L'chaim. Lachaim. Honestly, Lachaim. key lime oh, Lacroix is a delight in and of itself. Uh, I was yes. gonna say all that Lacroix then, is gonna do is spread out the bad flavor. It's so yeah, good. I mean, with key lime Lacroix. This does have a little bit of an aftertaste, but like I said, considering where it started, this is like just miles ahead. <laughs> is that Listen, the, key the rest lime of us don't mind the key lime or was that the regular of the booze? Um, this is key lime liqueur. I mean, uh, I love the taste of booze. Like the last word, that's my motherfucking jam. Negronis, I love it all. However, yeah, like I said, sadly, I cannot have booze um, for now. Um, hope to make a triumphant return someday. Um, maybe getting back into it with that key lime um, beach distillery that Johnny was talking about. Oof. We'll save yeah. bottles for you. Thank you so much. I mean, well, he said he'd save me a bottle, but I hear there are some nearest, uh, oh, in the minis nearest to me. So, anyone have any questions you want me to answer about this lovely thing? I can try to. God, no, a, please. A <laughs> we do marriage <laughs> ceremonies. I was going to say, do you have any regrets? Yeah. But obviously, we do. I, so. I have like questions the, about the, the sideburns. <laughs> I have questions about the sideburns. I'll take them offline. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So, um, yeah, I guess we're down to uh, me and Johnny. Are you still going to do another one? Uh, hey, I'll, I'll do the last word. So You'll I'll, do I'll the do last the, word last. So I'll there do we last go. Word so last. I, guess, I guess we're on the my sorry ass. So, uh, I've never had a sorry ass. ass, so let's try that. Let's do it. Nice. <laughs> no, no, no. This is not a sorry ass. So we uh, I'm going to I'm gonna do a presentation on... Um, Daiquiri. So uh, daiquiri is an important cocktail to know how to make because quite frankly, uh, uh, it's more just guidelines than an actual specific drink. Um, so classic daiquiri is two parts rum with one part citrus and one part uh, sweet. Specifically simple syrup, but the great thing about a daiquiri is literally it can be two parts of liquor, one part citrus, and one part of any sweetener. Um, and that's for classic. You can add, have it more sweet and less citrus, or you can add more citrus and sweet if you want your drink less boozy, or obviously, if you're like me, I'm gonna make it with a little less citrus and sweet, so it's more <laughs> because that's the way I roll. So, rum. <laughs> All different kinds of rums. Uh, I'm a tiki bar kind of person, so I generally like blending a Jamaican style rum. And I'm going to go with uh, the mm. Smith and Cross. Nice choice. Going to go with an ounce of Smith and Cross. And then I am also going to put in an ounce of rum from Martinique. This is a French Caribbean style rum. Um, it's uh, described as uh, agricole, meaning it's it's more grassy, it's more uh, earthy. Rum is, if you're not familiar with it, is liquor distilled distilled from sugarcane. 
So, uh, Carl, if, if they've got uh, if they've only got Bacardi uh, as a reference, how would you describe uh, Jamaican rums from Bacardi? Um, more caramel, funky. So, uh, Bacardi, uh, if you're if you're gonna go with cheap rum and you only have cheap rum available, Cruzan is better than Bacardi. I don't know if like internationally, which has more distribution. Um, and the aged is better than the is very good. And also, traditionally, you probably saw my rums are kind of dark colored. Um, rum, it's daiquiris traditionally are made with light rum, white rum, clear, like what you saw earlier uh, from drinks. But again, the great thing about daiquiris is it doesn't matter. Booze, citrus, sweet. Two parts booze, one part citrus, one part sweet is the traditional ratio, and you just adjust it from there for however you like it. So, I got my two parts of booze. Uh, I'm going to put in, instead of an ounce of simple syrup, I'm going to put in three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Simple syrup is just one part sugar and one part water mixed together. Um, you can make it go faster by doing it over heat, or you can just let it sit and shake it however you want to do it. But it's just equal parts cane sugar dissolved in uh, water. And then I'm going to go with lime juice. And I am going to, again, go with three quarters of an ounce. I actually bothered to squeeze some limes. Thank you very much. So, uh... Again, uh <laughs> infinite glass of wine and again uh, because uh, it's got citrus in it because it's got juice in it you shake it you don't stir it right? I'm feeling very judged by you people I'm just very saying judgy. I'm very, very much incredibly judgy it feels like your technique's actually coming from the diaphragm rather than the hips so we're getting better <laughs> A little better, a little better. Wrists, I'm yeah. sitting. It's a little. It's harder. It's harder to do while sitting. I I find so. Uh, and then uh, coupe glass, right? Straight in there. This one's got a strainer in the lid, so your coupe glass has to have pretty glass etchings in it to be it a real not. coupe glass. It does not. Actually, if you're going to be like that. Coupe glass. What makes it a coupe is it actually curves in at the top a little bit. That is the definition of a coupe glass. Still no, is that a coupe or a coupe? Or a coupe, whatever. Make sure, okay. make sure it is molded after uh, the left breast of the famed French aristocrat Marie Antoinette. There you I'm go. I'm glad you were able to articulate that better there than I go. was. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Question. So, um, so this is a daiquiri. Uh, again, uh, very classic ratio, two one one. Liquor, sweet, sour, um, and uh, you know, uh, may you be the person your dog thinks you are. My dogs are ignoring me right now. They're like, "Screw you!" And cheers. They're like to sleep. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh! There it goes. There it it goes. must be Carl's bedtime because he's just drinking that and going. Where's the malort? Like Carl? Six out of, I think we got Where's six out of nine mixologists here that uh, that that finished their drink. So I am not a mixologist. I did not go to grad school. <laughs> so I'm I'm just uh, I'm just a bartender, drink slinger. So um, we're we're gonna I'm gonna make one more quick uh, just say one more thing before we go to Johnny with the last word, and we'll actually end uh, with Johnny finishing his last word and one last quick toast. Um, Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Um, we're kind of drinking irresponsibly. Uh, it's Tuesday. But, uh, it's, Tuesday it's, it's Tuesday night. And many of us are working tomorrow. Um, but hey, right? Uh, we planned ahead. We knew we were doing this. So uh, thanks for hanging with us. I hope you've had fun, first of all. I hope you learned something, maybe. I don't know. Um, and also, one last quick announcement. Um, you may have noticed I have a little something going across my hat. Um, first person who texts that number um, can uh, expect a gift in the mail. Anyway, uh, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, Johnny, take us home. 
Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, all right. I'm gonna do. Um, so, uh, well, hold on one second. I, I've got a. Um, I've had a couple. Okay, all right. Cool. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> so oh, look at his face going. Johnny's drunk. He's <laughs> blushing. Uh, I, I've got the Asian brush going on, but other than that. Um, cute. So. It's really fantastic that in a in a hacker culture we've seen all these riffs on the last word, and I'm going to show you the mother cocktail, the last word, and it is a fantastic lost cocktail. Um, I'm so glad that it was rediscovered and brought back into the uh, cocktail drinking mainstream. Uh, again, all of us here, we are drink slingers. Uh, we, you know, we uh, I don't think any of us took a formalized um, post-grad education on cocktail making. So none of us are, uh, are uh, mixologists, but uh, I, post -grad I did- taught me to drink. Well, yes, <laughs> post-grad would generally drive one to drink, um, but you know, that's, that's, that's the way it is. So the last word is, uh, is a cocktail near and dear to my heart because I hated gin for most of my life. And then when I was reintroduced to gin, uh, this was one of the first cocktails I had. And it's like, holy crap, gin's fantastic. So it's, gonna, it's a three equal parts cocktail. Uh, it's a great mother cocktail. I'm gonna use gin in this case. Oh, you don't know let me take off this amazing, but ultimately use this background. Uh, we all have to make sacrifices. Yes. So um, this gin, Death Store gin from Wisconsin, fantastic. Uh, but any gin you want, uh, London dry gins are probably better for this cocktail. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Wait, hold on. Are we recommending We're going commercial off brands? Commercial. We're going we off dropped the mic and walked away. London oh. dry gins are bad. We're out of scope. Oh, there we We're go. out of scope. Oh, Plymouth. So Sip yeah, so we'll go off that Smith. Um, hey, Smith too is another fantastic gin, about half the price of Sip Smith. Um, you won't really notice the difference. So, um, anyway, so dry gin, London dry gin. This is one you cannot mix with anything else. Green chartreuse, any other thing that's green or whatever, just won't cut it. So Do no Dory. I no, no, Midori, no. So you know what? I'm not going to say no. We're all hackers. Make the mistake and let us know about it. Um, <laughs> and give it a name. Like. Um, and then Luxardo, uh, maraschino liqueur. Uh, you might hear this called maraschino, and I called it maraschino for years and years and years until I discovered that maraschino is not Italian. Italians just like it so much they pretend it's theirs. So um, anyway. <laughs> No, true, 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 true also, fact. I've, I've heard a real true fact. Sardo pronounced like 16 different ways during this call alone. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Because we're American and we don't give Sardo. a fuck about how things are pronounced. <laughs> and you're not going to tell it's me. It's got to be true. It. Yeah. Luxardo Mars. Luxardo. Yeah. Sardo, I, love, yeah. Uh, I love the fact that several times tonight, any red liquor will do has been, yeah. oh, you know. Chianti. I, I want to see Chianti. It plays a little Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. very brandy. Oh, my bad. Oh, take your shaker. I have a little baby shaker here that I like very much. Oh, it's cute. I know, isn't it? Um, Pretty good. You take your lime. I have a fresh lime. I'm going to squeeze it. When you take, Braggart. when you squeeze your fruits, Make sure <laughs> you take the label off the fruit first. Um, and, and in fact, okay. when I used, so I used to work in a nightclub and uh, actually a few of them. And one of the things we would do is that when it was unwashed, it would have the label on it. We'd take the peel it off, wash it. And that way we knew that if it did not have a label on it, you have to get rid of it quickly because the chemicals we put on vegetables in the US make them last, or this is a fruit, not a vegetable. Um, you know, I think this has been talking. So um, the chemicals we put on our produce in the U.S. make them last a really long time out of the refrigerator. So make sure you <clears throat> peel it, wash it, always peel it, then wash it. Oh, you know what? Let's switch cameras because, do, do, damn, do I love it. Yeah, where's your it? fancy camera, damn it? I know, camera I know, B. I know, I know. Camera I know. Off. Okay, there we go. Okay, oh, all right. There we go. Let me get all this Whoa, there are a lot more bottles there than there were before. I oh, let me tell you, man. There are. <laughs> this, this is to blame for a yes. lot of a lot of what's going on tonight. So, 
I appreciate okay. that. I want to know about that early morning call you've got tomorrow. <laughs> so, uh, again, with the uh, great open L knife. Take you get more and more fingers. dangerous with that knife, and it makes me nervous. <laughs> the fingers. Oh, okay, a little trick. Uh, sharp too. So when I was I, when I worked as a chef, I was also uh, drunk a lot of the time. So you hold your hand like this, and that way, like when most... you cut, you don't end up cutting your fingers up, tips off. So cats, we call it cat's paw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiger craw. Um, so okay. Wow. You take that. Wow. That's like magic. Mine comes from a plastic bottle. Wait, you didn't uh, measure so that. Mine. How much? Uh, how how do you know how much liquid was there? <laughs> this is half a lime's worth of liquid. That is an accurate checks out. Statement. The math checks out. Math checks One out. One part half lime. It's like a it's like a thousandth of we'll, a hammer. Will Google translate the ounces? <laughs> One part <laughs> gin. I was kind of hoping you were going to start pouring it into the lime shell and using the lime as your part. <laughs> oh, God, that would be brilliant. A Next lime time. jigger. Let's take that away. Um, uh, I can't move it without making everything fall apart. One part, maraschino. If somebody calls it maraschino, yeah. just go along with it. And one part of the elixir green chartreuse. Now, I mean, the funny thing is so that there are only three people on the planet who know how to make green chartreuse. They are monks, they live together and they drive poorly to the uh, monastery every day. So the abbot of the monastery is terrified they're going to get in a car accident and die and then um, chartreuse will forever disappear from this planet. Why don't they make them just live at the chartreuse like where it's stayed? Just stay there. Don't because go anywhere. where's stay the there. fun in that? I mean, yeah. there's no documentation maybe it's a every maybe. single day for my job. If Why can't these monks in just write the documentation? If your art oh. isn't in constant uh, oh. fear of like being d d killed out, then you know what's, what's fancy the chilled martini glass. Wait. Oh, wait, 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 so, wait, wait, so, wait, 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 what are you doing there? Pro bar tip: uh, You take a glass, you take your cocktail glass, you fill it with some some uh, some shaved ice, throw some water on top. And when you're done, you have a lovely chilled glass. Ooh. I have a fancy Luxardo cherry already ready to go. So I put it in the bottom of the glass. That way I don't make a big that splash. That looks like a black olive. Come on. Hey. Man. <laughs> he got and the then jar open. He worked hard for that. Shake, shake, you shake, shake this. <laughs> shake it like it owes you money, right? Shake it what, like it owes you money. Sounds like that must be the from the hips. Just saying. And? Now, if you're really fancy ass like uh, Mr. Colorful Bowtie, he would actually pour this through another strainer and double strain it. But I'm not quite that fancy. And I'm going to switch cameras. Camera one! Camera one! Cut the camera, camera one! one. <laughs> Production. Hey. Here you go. Look at that. That looks pretty that fancy. That's gorgeous. Party. Yeah. Mm. Pinkies out, bitches. <laughs> oh, man. That tastes like heaven. God damn it! I, I just want to say, Johnny, look, what, seeing your your uh, your bourbon in the uh, in the fancy decanter makes me want to put my exact same bottle of bourbon in my fancy decanter. So when people come over, they drink that. <laughs> <laughs> They're not touching my pappies yep. or my Wellers. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the Johnny. Take us home. All right, so um, so that's the last word, folks. Uh. Hey, uh, Defcon, Defcon China, thank you so much for having us on. We we love you all. We will see you at some point. And um, Slauncha, cheers, and come by. Come by. Come by. Cheers. <laughs> thanks, to, thanks to Defcon for uh, asking us to do this. It's been a lot of fun, and I hope it was fun for you all, too. Good night. <laughs> All right. And, and... Right. at the planet. <laughs> 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 <laughs>